Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Today we're going to take a look at the Shadow Stopper foldable solar panel that has cool technology that might just work a little bit better for you if you end up having to set this thing up in parcel shade. All right, so this is called the 100 watt folding solar panel. It is from Shade Stopper. It features a technology called Shade Stopper. Imagine that. Model number is ES, is in Echo Sierra 100 FD, as in Foxtrot Delta. At the moment, it's $189 US. So we're gonna test this out here in just a minute. Let's go over the specs real quick, give you an up close view of what it looks like. But here it is, 100 watt fold out, just like that. Inside here, fairly waterproof zip up pouch that opens all the way. You got a USB-A and a USB-C port right there. Nine foot cable that can then attach to one of the three adapters that come with it. That'll cover just about every solar generator so the USB-A says it has a max wattage of 24 watts, and the USB-C says it has a max wattage of 45 watts. The panel itself has a max wattage of 100 watts, but like all solar panels, only in a perfect world would you get exactly 100 watts. It has an ETFE coating. That's that rough poly coating that they put over these solar cells to protect them a little bit better. The company claims operating temperatures of minus 14, to positive 60 Celsius or 14 degrees to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Folded, it is just about two feet by two feet. Unfolded makes it just over four feet by just over two feet. So about a quarter a sheet of plywood. It's got folding legs on the back that are very sturdy for Velcro to adjust your angle. Here in Alberta, about straight 45 degrees is perfect year round. Weighs just under 12 pounds, about 11 and a half pounds actually just a little on the heavy side. So what grabbed my attention about this? Well, okay, so we are going to run the USB-C and the USB-A ports. Started at one watt, we got up to four, 19. Now we are at a full 80 watts. Now with this is two o'clock in the afternoon on the Canadian prairies, and we're getting 81 watts of solar input at the moment. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to cover one solar panel, see what happens. I'm gonna cover it a little better. So now we have one of the 36 solar cells covered, went from 81 watts to 77 watts. Okay, so here we are. We got 5% in about 45 minutes or so. This is over a thousand watt power station. So 5% at 73 watt input, not that bad. Hi Hazel. Okay, so we're gonna unplug this now. We are getting on USB-C right at the moment, 20.28 volts and 0.9 amps. So just a little bit less than 20 watts. Not bad in an imperfect world. The sun's starting to go down just a bit. All right, now, next, we're gonna try the USB-A port. Okay, at the moment, we're getting 4.3 volts and 2.64 amps. I guess the biggest thing was what they call the shadow stopper technology in it. Now, I'm not perfect at this kind of stuff, but I'm gonna do my best to explain exactly what it is. In traditional solar panels, almost all of these cells, there's 36 on this one, I believe, are in series. So that if you end up blocking just one cell, you can lose somewhere between 50 and 80% of your output of solar energy. Now this, like I said, has this thing called shadow stopper technology, that when one cell is blocked, it will cut the power by only about 10%. The main reason behind that are these diodes they use called, see if I can pronounce this for you, Schottky diodes, which basically keeps them from being linked in series. So two benefits to this is if you're in a slightly shaded area where a couple of cells are gonna be covered, you're not gonna lose a majority of your power output. But also, unlike a lot of the older solar panels, if one cell gets broken or damaged, you're also not gonna lose a majority of your solar output. It's somewhat waterproof. It can be out in the rain, but you can't fully submerge it. The main reason, these electrical connectors on the back. So something else that I kind of liked about this product is it's made by a company out of Utah. Still manufactured in China, like basically every solar panel on the planet, but it's designed and shipped from Utah. And if you need customer assistance, you're gonna get somebody in Utah. That is hard to find these days. How about the warranty? Well, you get a 30 day return and a 12 month manufacturer's defect warranty on this product. Something I get asked a bunch is, why don't you have a lot of negative reviews on your channel, Tim? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I do a ton of research before I buy products with my own money. 
So I tend to eliminate most of the duds before that happens. But in this case, when the company sent it to me free of charge, I put a few restrictions on them. Number one, they're not gonna pay me for it. Number two, if they send it to me, I'm going to do an unbiased review through no input of theirs whatsoever. And number three, if it's a dud, if it's an absolute piece of crap, I'm not gonna waste my time or yours on doing a crappy review. I do one or two videos a week and I'm not gonna waste your time with a bum product. So I hope that kind of helps just a little bit. So if you stuck around to the end of this video, that means I made this video just for you. So hit the subscribe button, stick around. And if you're kind of checking out a whole bunch of different portable solar generators, portable solar panels, that sort of thing, check out my review on the Anchor Solar Power Station right here. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.